Hello everyone, I hope you all are fine and having a good health. In this video, we are going to revise what we have studied in the whole week. So, starting from the first topic that is noun as adjective. How can a noun behave like an adjective? Sometimes, nouns act as adjectives to describe other nouns. For example, if there are two nouns together, the first one would be an adjective. That would be describing the second noun. Some examples are chocolate cake, fish market, shoe shop, city hall, and army office. In these examples, the first word that is the noun, it is acting as an adjective that is describing the second noun. So basically, these adjectives are describing the nouns. They are telling us what type of things are these. Next we have adverbs of frequency. Now, what are the adverbs of frequency? These are the words that describe us how often something has happened. For example, always, sometimes, or often. These are the times that tell us what is the frequency of things happening. There are percentages given with them so that you can have an idea. Always means 100%. Everyone always speaks well of the mark. Usually means 90% out of 100%. She usually fed her cat cheap cat food. Then, then other uh, adverbs of frequency are generally, often, sometimes, occasionally, seldom, rarely and never. So these are the words that show how often something is done. Never means 0%, it is never done. Rarely means just 5% and so on. Next we have the saying verbs. What are the saying verbs? Saying verbs are those verbs that are used to show the action of speaking. We say something in different manners. For example, some, sometimes we say something while shouting. Sometimes we say something in a a way that we want someone then sometimes we yell at someone we we are saying something uh, in a manner that when we tease someone and so on there are so many ways to say something to a person all these manners or words are called saying verbs that tell us how something is being spoken After that, we have unit number 2, a tumbler of oil. We have done words meaning dictation words and word sentences of these. These pictures are already shared with you, so I hope you have already done this work. Talking about the next thing that is the letter format. The informal letter format. Now, what is a letter? A letter is something uh, similar to a message that is conveyed to a person or a group of people through a medium. The format of informal letter is you start writing from the left side of your page starting with examination hall, comma, then in the next line city abc dot and then in the third line your date and in the fourth line dear and relation whosoever you are writing the letter to. After that just below the comma uh, of dear mother or whatsoever relation is that you start writing your body. The, uh, the body of your letter so after writing the body of your letter the detail you end the letter on the right side of your page saying your loving daughter son your loving sister brother or your loving friend or whatsoever you want to write your relation after that you'll put a comma and just below that you'll write x dot y dot c you'll not mention your name i hope this is clear Take care of